please like the video. As the television camera took one last shot of the Pennsylvania debate stage Tuesday night, it caught John Fetterman's face clenched in frustration. The previous hour had been excruciating, for the Democratic Senate nominee and for the audience who watched him struggle to find and articulate his words in the wake of a stroke five months ago. The snap consensus, by Republicans and also by many despairing Democrats, was that Fetterman had done severe and possibly fatal damage to his candidacy in what has been considered the marquee Senate race in the country. That might turn out to be true, but it is important to remember that most voters don't see these events the way that political reporters, campaign operatives, and social media obsessives do. Few actually watch debates, aside from short clips in the aftermath. They care about issues and are amused by gaffes. But they also take the measure of candidates, first and foremost, as human beings, ones who reflect the realities of their own lives. The question is what voters take away from Tuesday's debate, concern that Fetterman is too infirm to serve, or empathy for what he has been dealt and admiration for his courage in agreeing to be on that stage in the first place. Another unknown at this point is how his GOP opponent, Mehmet Oz, already facing a goodwill deficit with Pennsylvania voters, will be judged. Oz seemed unnecessarily nasty in pressing his advantage in the debate, saying at one point during innocuous questioning about vocational education, John, obviously I wasn't clear enough for you to understand it. What often comes to mind for me is another debate that was deemed a disaster for one candidate, and turned out to be her lifeline. It happened on January 5, 2008, in Manchester, New Hampshire, three days before the primary. Senator Hillary Clinton, New York, the one-time frontrunner in the race for the Democratic presidential nomination, had limped into the state after a devastating third-place finish in the Iowa caucuses. The two men who had finished ahead of her in Iowa were having great sport that night at the former first lattice comeuppance.